Kids here at Castle Park have long fought for change, saying their school isn't as nice as other campuses. Come June, the district will break ground on a multi-million dollar football stadium. That's in addition to other improvements that have already been made. I never doubted that we could, you know, get our message through to the district. For nearly two years, Castle Park senior Adrian Gomez has been a part of a student-led effort to improve conditions on campus. I first interviewed Adrian when he was a sophomore. At the time, he described some of what students deal with on a daily basis. There's cracks in windows, you know, really old, dirty drinking fountains. Those concerns, as well as others, were often showcased on an Instagram page called Save CP Now. That included the outdated football field, which has patches of torn up grass, unlike most schools, which have nice turf. Adrian and others spoke out both on the news and during community meetings. Fast forward to now, the district just announced they're breaking ground on a new stadium in June. It's a $42 million project, and it's going to take about 18 months estimated to for completion. Nadez Johnson is a spokesperson for the Sweetwater Union High School District. She provided these renderings showing what the final product will look like. It's being financed through bonds. Students like Adrian as well as community members say it's about time. It's sad for them to go play at another school that's got these beautiful facilities and then they get to come home to their home field and their home field is this patched up beat up piece of grass. Jacinto Perez is Castle Park sports announcer. He believes the reason Castle Park has long been ignored is because there's fewer tax dollars available in the neighborhood it's in and there's not as much parent participation compared to other schools. Unfortunately for the kids here at Castle Park, even though they play their hearts out and they wear their uniforms with pride and they show up to play hard every time they play, uh, the facilities are just not up to snub. Jacinto applauds those students who spoke up, but according to the district, the stadium had been in the works for months before their advocacy campaign. They do, however, acknowledge student voices did lead to other improvements, such as new exterior paint and windows. Also, there's future plans for a new quad and two-story classroom building, requests made by students. Since Adrian is graduating soon, he won't be around to enjoy it all, but says that was never the point. Our generation is really happy that we can leave the future generations with something to be proud of. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.